Hi there folks, it's time for another weekly update, but this week before I get to the pieces that I'm going to show you that I worked on over the week, I would like to run a little contest. So the details on this contest are pretty simple. One, you have to be subscribed to this channel, and two, I just want you to leave a comment below uh, with one of the favorite pieces you've seen so far from some of the previous videos, or with a person you'd love to see me create a pattern for. Now what would the prize for such a contest be then? Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel is one of my favorite patterns that I've created so far. I have this piece and if I put this up on my wall now it is never coming down. So this week I would like to run a contest so that you can win this very piece. I will send it out to you immediately. Um, all you have to do again is be subscribed and leave a comment below with your favorite pattern you've seen me do so far or with someone you'd like to see a pattern of. There's the, there's the contest. That is out of the way. Now let's get to some of the pieces that I've done this week. I have three pieces this week to show you. And I'm going to start with one that is actually not part of what I've started calling the Rad Women in Cross Stitch Form project. This is someone who is on Netflix and we've recently been watching series two of Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. And this is Count Olaf. This is not him in costume. This is him in basically his Count Olafist uh, suit and uh, ascot with his costume uh, suitcase, I suppose. Um, so again, we love Lemony Snicket, A uh, Series of Unfortunate Events on Netflix. The season two was just was released March 30th. We've already watched most of the episodes. And while we watch the first two, I put this one together. So here we go. Here's Lemony Snicket, a series of unfortunate events. Um, what do you think? This person is definitely part of my Rad Women in Cross Stitch Form project. She is a local activist and advocate and someone I learn a lot from all the time. Julie Lalonde. And I'm going to be giving this piece to Julie. Uh, as soon as I get a smaller hoop, this one is put into a 5-inch frame. It will look really good in a 4-inch frame. So as soon as I have that, I'm going to be sending that off to her. Again, her work is so amazing. Check out Julie on Twitter. I will put the link to her Twitter and to her website and some of the projects that she's working on in the comment section below. I do strongly encourage you to check it out. She is such a... Uh, strong advocate. She is so intelligent and I think that we can all one learn from her and two support her in the work that she does. And the last one from this week was someone who I wasn't very familiar with until March 24th and the March for Our Lives. Um, listening to her words at that event though I expect that we will hear a lot from her going forward. There she is. Naomi Wadler, who is 11 years old and extremely well-spoken, extremely intelligent, and is the kind of person who is going to bring change um, to gun control. And I am so glad to be someone who can support her and share her words and, my God, continue to learn from her. Um, so those are the three that I have done this week. I have one on the go right now, a few other patterns in mind as well. There is another one that I was working on that I still have to decide. There was just hint hint a wine spill on one of my pieces. I'll show you that next week once I've figured out if I am A going to leave the wine stain there or B try to figure out a way to get rid of the wine stain. What I'll try to do next week as well is get my daughter to show you a piece that she has recently finished because she's big into this and her abstract pieces are way better than anything that I've come up with so far. Um, but I still like to show you my stuff anyways. Uh, CBC, which is um, Canada's national broadcaster, actually interviewed me last week about uh, my cross-stitching and so that was a radio interview on our local Ottawa morning show and then today I was out with my daughter at gymnastics and uh, my partner sent me a message asking if I knew they were doing a uh, written piece about it as well and I did not know that 
but on cbc.ca you can visit their website and look for uh, Mike Reynolds, the Ottawa cross-stitching guy, and you can read another pretty cool story about the cross-stitching that we do here. In line with that, I just wanted to reiterate one more time exactly some of the reasons why I like cross-stitching. One, it has been a great anxiety buster for me. As someone with mental health issues and very high anxiety, uh, this has given me a lot of focus, has given me the opportunity to do something that I, one, enjoy doing, and two, occupies my brain. Uh, two, I really like the finished product of these, obviously. Uh, these women that I've been doing the patterns for and putting the pieces together for are amazing influences in my life. I imagine a lot of them are amazing influences in your life too. So I wanted to find a way to kind of honor them in a visual arts manner that I understand. And three, and a lot of people seem to be taking issue with this, wondering why in the world I'm so special, why would they bother running a piece about me when I cross stitch and when a lot of other guys sew and everything. I'd like to reiterate, I am not doing anything to be special. I am trying to do this to show people that men can have fun uh, cross-stitching, embroidery, um, knitting, crocheting. This is not me trying to show people how to live their lives. It's me saying there are things that men might want to do that they often don't do. If you're already sewing, if you're already cross-stitching, that is awesome. You can share that here. I'm not trying to co-opt the cross-stitching movement, I'd love to share your work. So share it with me on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube here, and I will share the work that you've been doing. Um, I think it's really important that we set out as role models to show boys that not only do we play football, but we cross-stitch as well. So there are many different sides to the masculinity coin, and I just want to be presenting the ways that make me really happy. That is it. That is all. That's my story and I end up with some really cool pieces. So that's it for me. A reminder to enter that contest. Uh, I'll run it until next week. So by the time that next week's update comes out on Monday, I will announce the winner for that one. Again, I'll put a little bit of detail into the comment section here or the description here, and you can win that Miss Marvel cross-stitch piece.